Hello guys and welcome to my Cincy Hall slash wax collection video. What a wonderful So today's video, like I said, is going to be a summer Cincy wax haul because I basically ran out of any sort of summer or like year round scents besides just vanilla in my wax collection. So I have a ton of like fall and a few winter ones left, but I had nothing left to burn like right now or melt right now. So I'm going to go through a haul. I did pick up a lot of stuff during the clearance sale last month. And then I do have my whole collection just behind me on the bed and don't mind the empty bed. I am washing our sheets today, but yeah, I figured I'd go through the haul first and then show you guys my collection just because I haven't really done a wax collection, I think in over a year. So let's get started with the haul. I'm going to start off with the first two license bars that I have. The first one is the Mandalorian Air of Adventure. This one's super cute. I loved the Mandalorian when it came out. And I think this one's supposed to be like a fresh eucalyptus kind of scent. So I figured this would be perfect for the bathrooms. I actually have a Scentsy little wall plug-in in my bathroom that I keep on the entire day, just 24 hours, because it's such a nice little nightlight for having downstairs. So this one smells amazing. I think it's going to be the perfect fresh scent for the bathroom. So that was a great find. And then I picked up Dumbo Circus Parade, which I think this is a, like a gourmand scent. Oh no, it's like very fruity. Almost cotton candy vibes. That's nice and bright. I like that. Yeah, very fruity and like citrusy kind of, maybe orange. So that one smells really good. I feel like that's a great like fresh scent to use maybe in the kitchen or something like that. So that's Dembo. Next, moving on to the just kind of like fresh scents. So I got a Bamboo and Rainfall. I'm really happy that I was able to find this one because it's like the perfect scent for, like I said, the bathroom. It's just very fresh, very simple. A little bit floral but I've already used one cube in the bathroom and it's just like the perfect scent to be in there it smells super clean so I love this one and then I also got pinkberry sandalwood which I was thinking a sandalwood scent would be really nice in the bedroom oh yeah that's so beautiful mm, okay that's wonderful just like a very nice fresh scent. So very excited about these two. Okay, now we're going into my summer scents. I'm super excited about the ones that I got. So the first one is Pina, Pina Colada Cha Cha. I love Pina Coladas. Um, they are so yummy. And anytime I can get like a slushy kind of alcoholic beverage is always a win for me. I really wanted some sort of like gourmand coconut for summertime. I feel like this too, I could probably mix with a few things as well, but that smells so yummy. It really is just like a sweet coconut. And then I also got Sun Castles, which this one is definitely supposed to be more of like a beachy scent. It kind of reminds me of like suntan lotion almost. Nice and simple. I feel like there's some sort of fruity scent in here. I'll see what that is, but this is going to be a really nice scent for summertime and just to have going when it's like 100 degrees outside. So looking forward to that. Not looking forward to 100 degree weather though. Next one I picked up is Havana Cabana. This one I think is supposed to be like banana, right? Oh my gosh, yes. It's like a banana daiquiri. That's so yummy. Oh my gosh. Wow, that is wonderful. I'm definitely putting this in the bath, not bathroom. <laughs> I'm definitely putting this in the kitchen. It's so yummy smelling. Okay, that's a super fun banana scent. Okay, the next two, they did kind of melt in transit and that's my fault for ordering in like 90 degree weather, but we have Sip and Poolside, which is another, of course, really nice summery scent. I'm gonna have to clean this out, I think, before I use it, but oh yeah, super fresh, kind of fruity. I definitely get like that, I don't, I don't want to call it like a chlorine pool scent, but it smells like a pool. I don't know how to describe that. So that one's fun. And the last wax bar I have to haul is tangerine and sugar cane. I wanted to get just like a simple um, citrusy scent. I feel like those are really nice when it's hot outside. Um, not to have something like gourmand, but something just really fruity. This smells really good. Oh my gosh, it's super juicy mandarin oranges. That smells so good. So very excited about this one. And it's definitely going to be a kitchen scent. Okay, here is a look at my wax collection. So I have, I think it was 35 or 36 bars. I just counted, I swear. And I do have these two really fun little like calendar thingies that I'll show you guys in a minute. 
but let's go through what I have. So I'm going to start off with the winter scents because I don't have a lot. I just have three. So this is a peppermint one. And I picked this up actually from like a vendor at the Renaissance Festival. So this is their name. I already got rid of the um, packaging for that one. This is scent chips from the Legendary Candle Co. And this one is in Twisted Peppermint or just like a peppermint candy cane. And then I also have Pretty in Plaid from Scentsy and make me snickerdoodle which really is a good like year-round scent i'll probably use it in fall too but i did get this one like in christmas time okay speaking of fall of course i have the most fall scents so i have these two apple ones apple cherry strudel and dutch apple bread which i will probably break out at the beginning of fall then i have sticky cinnamon bun this one's super cinnamony so i have to wait a little bit for that one to be in the mood we have pumpkin and chai from Better Homes and Gardens. This one's a few years old. I really need to use it up this year. We have pumpkin roll from Scentsy. This one is really yummy. This is actually my second bar of this. We have Gimme Candy. This one is a Halloween scent. So is Scary Good. Look how cute the packaging is on this one with the jack-o'-lanterns. And I've already used some of it as well. And then we have the Legendary Candle Co.'s Candle Corn scent chips. So these are like leftover wax from when they made candles. They made it into these little chips so moving down here i do have this is technically fall but really year-round like vanilla gourmand scents so i actually have three of the coconut pumpkin pies i had this in my um quarterly scentsy club which i have since canceled because i have a back stock and i really need to get through them so coconut pumpkin pie right here and these three are all unused this one's such a yummy yummy scent and i'll probably break it out for an introduction to fall. And then I have hazelnut latte, which is just a really sweet, sugary coffee scent. I have vanilla cream, which I got this one to go with my coffee scents. I have crumb top. I used to have a ton of these. This one's one of my favorites. It's just like a nice muffin scent. And then salted caramel toffee, which definitely would be a fall one to me, but could be year round. And then I have three graham cracker crunches. This is one of my favorites. It's so yummy. And I love to mix this one with other things during the fall to make like a pie scent out of anything. So it's super yummy. And then I also have three of vanilla bean buttercream and I have it in the holiday packaging as well. It's just one of my favorites to also mix with stuff. We have Better Homes and Gardens Lemon Raspberry Donuts. I actually haven't used this one yet. I definitely need to start using it now that we're in summertime. But this was one like random pickup <laughs> that I did whenever I went to Walmart a couple months back. And then we have some of the ones that I just picked up. So Havana Cabana, Pina Colada Cha Cha, Sun Castles, Sip and Poolside, Tangerine and Sugarcane, Dumbo Circus Parade, Pinkberry Sandalwood, Bamboo and Rainfall, and Mandalorian Era of Adventure. And then these two are super fun. So I got these off of a seller on Etsy and her name is Waltz Waxes. And she does a lot of Gilmore Girls and Disney themed wax melts and candles. So it's super fun. She did this launch last year. You had to like sign up for pre-order and stuff and she shipped it from the UK and I just love these. I'll probably keep these like forever, but they are like a little advent calendar. I didn't use it like that. I just opened up the back um, and looked at all the different waxes, but here's one. This one is for Gilmore Girls. It's just so beautiful. All the different things on here. I just think the attention to detail is so pretty. And there's so many different little wax melts in here. I'll open it up and show you guys what they look like on the inside too. But this one is Disney themed. How adorable is this? And they have each of the different theme parks. Like oh, so adorable. So pretty. A very Merry Christmas from the Magic. I'm assuming she couldn't put Magic Kingdom. So she should just put Magic. But look how beautiful. Just gorgeous. So here's what they look like if you open it up on the inside. And as you can see, I've used some of the Disney melts, but she did them all in these little star shapes with glitter on them. And they're just super cute. They all have different fragrances. And the Gilmore Girls ones are right here. I have not used these. I'll probably save them for winter of this year, but they're just so pretty. And I really wanted to support her because this is just such a cute idea. Okay, so that is everything for my wax collection slash Scentsy haul. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just wanted to update you guys on that because it's been quite some time. I'm not really like focused on getting my wax collection down or anything. As long as it stays within this size limit that I have for it. This is just like a little box that I keep all my wax melts in. And as long as it stays in this, which it's pretty big, 
Um, I'm fine with whatever size it is. So that's everything for my wax collection slash haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!